Welcome back, Barbarians, to another Beyond All Reason cast. We're in for another epic match. Unlike our other cast, this map has an opportunity to see some naval units, so that'll be quite interesting. Oh, I'd love to see some epochs being built. That some be early insane. epochs, they're good. Epoch by one minute, that would be crazy. Waiting for the players to join. The I wind is pretty good on this map with CJ OP opening with two wind turbines. The wind is really good. I'd be throwing down lots of wind right now. Yeah. I don't think it's feasible to build solar collectors on a map like this, but they can still be good. I think there's a big like divide when it's like the wind is pretty moderate. Mm. People are like, do I want wind or do I want batteries? Mac going with the four wind turbine open. We see a lot. There's so far lots of Amada players by the looks of it. Mm. Is there any Cortex? Because Cortex is the best faction, so. We have a Cortex commander here. Best faction. Cortex always win. Armada. I'd like to see some sumos. We haven't seen Tech 2 units in a long time in one of these casks. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see some Tech 2s in this match. That'll be quite interesting. Maybe some Tech 3s. Maybe a cheeky gantry will be thrown down. Oh, cheeky gantry. I like gantry bases. LSR opening with a construction bot. They're going to go for some metal extractors. I like reclaiming trees too on the maps like this. Mm. Lots of energy. We have a scout going in for an early scout. Going for an easy mechs to destroy. Mm. Lots of scouts being thrown down. Mm. We have some reclaim bots going for these trees. Gonna get some bulk energy. It's interesting to see what CJOP does because they have they're a very good player, so lots to learn from them. Throwing down those reclaiming bots, getting those trees. LSR going for some early metal expansion. LSR's had a little bit of combat in their base. CJOP is harassing them. Lexan going straight for the light assault bolts. Nice. Just skipping scouts altogether. Lexan's about to scout Max 675. About to discover who their close rival is. Put a bit of pressure on them. They're guarding those two Maxes there. Max going to take them though. Yeah, he's got bulk infantry bots already. He's building an army. Out of sight is out of sight on the map. And low in energy. <laughs> I need some more wind turbines. I'd be building lots of wind right now. Peace, Lexon. They're talking truces. Okay. Max, like, Max now, Lexon, Lexon, I might kill you, so do you want to be my ally? How, how do you even know where I'm? Lol. <laughs> Max, like, I have no fog of war. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hacking, I'm cheating, I've got a client. I've got god mode. <laughs> we have a scout coming in to destroy his cheeky metal extractor. When you're playing um, Warcraft with friends, then you just start, and you just type in "I see dead people" and greed is good four hundred times. <laughs> you get all the gold, and you can see the whole map, and you can tell everyone like, "No, I'm not cheating." Oh no, Big Fonzie going with the uh, bulk scout. Tactic. Big Fonzus. CJOP going for an expansion. CJOP has best base. Mm. They have L so much wind. Yeah, LSR is going for the bulk metal extraction. They're probably doing the best on metal extraction out of everyone. I can see that, yeah. they got a lot of metal thrown down. Yeah, they have plus 14 metal per second. So far, oh. no one has a major military presence on the map, except for Mac. Mac has a big army. Mm, lots of bots. Being very defensive. But by building those, he is sacrificing metal extractors and turbines he could be building. Lexon says, I want to enjoy the map. I think he sort of brushed off that alloy, that truce. Mm. He just hand bolted away. I like it when you pretend to be someone's alloy until you see an opportunity to kill them, then you're like, hmm, take back. Mm. Yeah, Max, like, why? Looks like they are going with that truce after all because Lexon's just pulled pu pulled back his bot. Yeah. Although Mac is building a tower just in case. Mac should just put his whole army in front of Lexon's base and he's like, truce? Question mark. <laughs> I'd love to see a betray in one of these games. I love betrayals. Out of sight going for some static rocket bots. They're quite good against buildings. You have a big history of betraying me in RTS games. No, I don't. Remember that time we played Red Alert 2 and you said you wouldn't nuke me? That never happened. It did happen. That never happened. Going with a geothermal plant for our LSR. Geothermal LSR is going really well on the resource generation. Yeah, their resources are really high. Which is good. Good opportunity to build a massive force. It's hard to balance resources and army. Mm. Mac has a massive army, but their resources are pretty low. Their energy production is good though. Not their metal production. Out of sight's metal production is very low. Sitting on a, a nice 9.3 metal production. Out of sight, having all of this area to expand and get metal extractors, but they're just preferring to sit in their base. The turtling. 
Mm. Out of sight, maybe a new player. We have a battle. Mac is attacking. Mac that is going to steal these metal extractors. Mac, is, Mac is putting pressure on DLSR. But DLSR has a big force. That's a lot of bots. Mm. At first glance, I think Mac is going to win this fight, but LSR is bringing in reinforcements. They're mass producing bots with all that economy. They already have nano turrets and they're going for another bot lab. That's scary. I personally would have built a vehicle lab rather than a second bot lab. But I always um, tend to go towards tanks when lots of the enemies are using bots. Mm. I think overall tanks are a stronger choice, even though they are slightly more expensive. Tanks are a good counter to bots, but bots have the that have an army-like advantage because they're, they're cheaper, so you can build a bigger army of them. Mac Thro has a good fortification right here. Throwing down some walls. If LSR builds some artillery, then they'll be able to take this out quite easily. I think walls get underestimated a lot in this. It's like in Supreme Commander, walls are quite valuable mm. if used properly. The time spent building walls could be time spent like getting resources though. So True. It's kind of a trade-off. And you have to keep in mind that there's not just one enemy, there's a lot of enemies. LSR going for the slip, gonna take out this little... LSR is gonna destroy that with no problem. Getting demolished with the high DPS of these bots. That is a massive army of bots, I would be stressed. Oh, <laughs> Matt going in for the counter-attack. Going for the massive the counter. Base. I could see a base trade-off happening here. Oh, this is definitely going to be a base trade. Lexan just got terminated? We just what? missed a commander being destroyed. That's classic. Too bad we can't reverse. The Lexan is out of the map. Good opportunity to claim their old base. I think I reckon CJOP might be doing that. Here we have a base trade between LSR and Mac. A few more players are about to go down here. Mac is dead. Um, DLSR, DLSR just died. Oh, Mac survived. DLSR is dead. Mac having Centurion medium infantry bots. I, that could have went either way just then. If Mac reclaims all of this area, then they're going to have bulk resources. Huge economy advantage. Out of sight is really out of sight. Oh, I just made that joke earlier. He has so much area to expand. Exactly. He should be expanding more. more. CJ OP taking all of the space that out of sight should be taking. When I was a fresh player, I was inclined not to expand either. I liked the turtle. I still like the turtle sometimes. Here we have CJ OP taking over this. Big area. Fonzie wants the middle. Big Fonzie just sucked a whole commander. I wonder what he'll be doing with that. He's going tech to take two. two. Good idea, if they can get it out. If he can defend himself for long enough to get that, he could start building some pretty bulk units. Are they Cortex or Armada? They are Armada. Armada. Could see some hounds. That would really turn the tide. CJ OP does not like that Tech 2 bot lab. Mm. I don't think he knows about it yet, which is actually really good for Big Fonzie. Yeah. Coming from bulk wind turbines, That's these <laughs> these would be magnificent to exploit. They're going to start off by building an engineer though, a tech 2 engineer. They have so much. Mm. Their eco is good, but they need more energy. They have so many wind turbines. Yeah, but wind is kind of average right now. I wonder what CJOP. CJOP going in for the cleanup on Mac. Mac doesn't really have anything to defend himself, so I think Mac, Mac is, is rebuilding. Going to go. CJ is going in with that big force. Mm. It's only bots though. Mac needs their main base to hold on though. What is Out of Sight doing? Out of Sight is just being out of sight. He's They're very complacent. Building some energy converters, a very expensive choice when he has metal extraction points literally right next to his base. Yeah, and metal is always more cost effective. And here we see the end of Mac's base. CJ OP's force is too big. Mac doesn't seem too worried about it. Mm. Mac is just integrating into that other part of the map. Somehow Mac's base survived. Surprising. This is very surprising. Getting another turret out, but I think CJ OP might go in for a big attack once they get some more units. Those they have a Tech 2 lab as well. Oh no. CJ OP is going to have a big force soon. Fonzie going for the Moho mines. Very Getting nice. those advanced metal extraction. I would be building some Tech 2 bots, I wouldn't be wanting that army. Mm. Some sniper bots would be good. Oh, sniper bots would really be great right now. Even so strong. Everyone's just building pawns, so I don't think sniper bots would be overly powerful against those. No, that's true. Although this uh, scout tactic is a little bit, uh, you know. Interesting, it's a big army of scouts. It is interesting. You can go snipe a lot of mechs with scouts though. Mm. Scouts have really good DPS for their cost, but they're so weak. Yes, absolutely. Not as weak as Supreme Commander Scouts though. Oh yeah. Which just absorb damage. 
CJOP, I'm waiting to see some game changing forces come out soon. Mm. Out of sight, expanding his base. He's just building lots of wind turbines. Out of sight has a massive energy. He's economy. building some anti air bots. Big Fonzie's energy is massive. They've nearly got 2k energy extraction. Big Fonzie is leading in resource production. Absolutely. Not much is going on right now, though. I hope Big Fonzie starts producing some uh, Tech 2 Assault bots. That would They've be reached a bit of a stalemate, I think. CJOP going for a radar bot. They might follow up with uh, artillery. That would be a good idea. I wonder if Mac is producing Tech 2 as well. I don't think he can afford it at the moment. He's still rebuilding from that assault. Yeah. He gets all of these juicy things to suck up though, which also Mac has helps. a lot of turrets in his main base. Mm. As far as everyone's aware, Mac does not have another base, which is advantageous for him. Yeah, CJOP expanding down into Mac's territory. That's not looking good. Mm. Big Fonzie is taking so much of the map uncontested. CJOP building hounds? Oh Fonzie's no. Fonzie's still not building tech 2 units. CJOP's got the right decision. Hounds are so strong. They have been nerfed though. Building a geothermal turret up here would be huge. That is huge. Another free for all one by Fonzie. Yeah. <laughs> OP. <-er. laughs> wow. This is interesting. Yeah. We do have a couple of spectators. The winner will definitely be either CG, CJ OP or Big Fonzie, unless uh, Mac f like does an assassination attempt on a commander with like bombers or something. I think out of, out of sight is underestimated. They could come in and win any time. So? Yeah. I think Out of Sight really doesn't know what they're doing. They could be fresh. They might be fresh. Mm. Which is okay, it's good to enjoy a game. Yeah. You don't need to be playing at the top level all the time. It's fun to be in these matches because you get to see lots of different things when you first start. Mm. There's a lot of units being placed though. Mm. These hounds would clean those up. Oh, look at the armies. CJOP is not going to underestimate Fonzie. Mm. Fonzie must be a good player. I haven't yeah. seen a cast of Fonzie before. Mm. Mac not doing anything really down here. He could send in some engineers to assist and get some metal extraction going a bit quicker. They need those metal extractors up. Mm. And they need to build an army. I don't think so many scouts. Yeah. Look at those reclaimer bots. Interesting wall placement there. Mm. They have a lightning turret in the middle. That's cheeky. Good idea though. Mm. Look at Fonzie's base. Still just building Tech 2 turrets. Getting those advanced metal extractors. Very good choice. Very, very good. They have 4.3k energy production. Oh, here we go. CJOP taking an assault on Mac. About to wipe out Mac. CJOP is about to have the bottom part of the map to himself. This will be huge. This is going to be big combat, this one. Mac can sense it. <laughs> you can sniff the impending threat. Sometimes you can th sense the threat coming, even when you don't know it's coming. Mm. This radar bot's coming in, and this radar jammer bot, which is interesting. Prevents their radar from giving them line of sight, oh, I suppose. That long range on those hounds is devastating them. That's big brain. Radar bot and a radar jammer bot in the same army. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mac cannot do much against that. Mac is sending in a small amount of reinforcements around the back. I think Mac has a can. I think Mac might have tech to uh, building. Mm. Oh, Mac is not the problem. Well, it's being destroyed. While those two fight, Fonzie expands. Yeah, Fonzie's getting huge map control. Fonzie seems like the crowd popular player to win this. Mm. There are so many wind turbines. Fonzie's going to have a big force. I think this is the end for Mac. Yeah. These hounds are just going to wipe the floor with this map. The real battle was between Fonzie and CJOP all along. Mm. CJOP not building more tech 2 units? CJOP is becoming complacent, maybe. Mm. Unless Mac they have something else going moving on. Moving into the sea? <laughs> Mac needs to go to the ocean. Mm. If you're not prepared for hounds, they will destroy. Try building a shipyard. Mm. Don't think he knows what to do. I wouldn't know what to do either. Oh yes. He's <laughs> building some solar. That army of hounds is very strong. He needs to build something more than just pawns. Yeah. Like, pawns aren't going to defeat this army. Not that army, absolutely not. And they're getting reinforced too. Mm. 
constant stream of reinforcements. Good opportunity for Fonzie to counter-attack CJOP, but of course they don't know what's going on. Yeah, they have no idea. Fonzie's just being uh, a little bit complacent, but that's okay because he's building up his resources. They're building lots of Tech 2 engineers. Mm, going for more advanced factories. He's at 168 metal production. They have so much wind turbines. I think unless CJOP can get an assassination on Fonzie, I think Fonzie's going to win. I would love to see a gantry get thrown down. Just a game ender. That would be amazing. Or nukes. Never see nukes. Out of sight. He's finally expanded to these metal extractors. Why is this so heavily defended? <laughs> Look at everyone commenting. Yeah. Look at the army. That army of hounds is unstoppable. Mac is selling his things, I think. Mac is giving up. Mac is losing hope. CJOP expanding down into these metal extractors. He's going to have map control of the bottom half. If I was in Mac's position, if I knew I lost, I would just send my command towards CJOP's base and try <laughs> and do as much damage as possible. Yes, if this commander meets that one, they could both be wiped out. <laughs> then Fonzie's definitely won. Yeah. But then they have to deal with out of sight. <laughs> Overpowered player, definitely. <laughs> A fresh player. Sometimes fresh players can come in on top. Mm. In the right circumstances. Mm. I think Mac could do to get on top right now from this army is to build bombers and just bomb the base. Mac has a huge army of pawns. I don't know if it will be enough. Nah, I don't think it's going to do anything. When he starts attacking here, this army could move up into his base and wipe everything out. Yeah. CJOP's got some planes. Planes? I love seeing aircraft and bar. This army's getting devastated. It's pawns versus pawns, dude. Mm. Bots Here we bots. go, the hound's moving into the base, gonna wipe him out. Mac. Fonzie's moving towards CJOP's position too. Yeah. This is about to get interesting. Hmm. I wonder what Fonzie's plan is. That turret never got to see the light of day. Wow. Oh, there we go, got one fight off. That lightning turret is a good idea, yeah. but it just couldn't handle all that range. Too bad that, hounds can just shoot over walls. That radar bot was giving hounds so many range. Mm. Fonzie's throwing down a gantry, I think. Damn. Is that a gantry? Yes. <laughs> Experimental gantry with all of these nano turrets to back it up. The panic. I would be scared. Yes. Gantries are so strong. It's the end for Mac. It's the end for CJOP when that gantry is oh, built. He's building bulk welders. Oh. Welders are good versus gantry units. Depending on what they build. Mm. Out of sight's probably just thinking, oh. <laughs> I don't think Out of Sight actually knows what's going on. They haven't scouted before. I think they're just turtling. Definitely. And that's fine. I do that a lot when I'm new to an RTS. I just want to build turrets and try and work out how to play. Mm. Fonzie <laughs> reclaiming <laughs> Mac's units? <laughs> what? Mac is out. Mac is going to die. Especially now that CJOP's planes have scouted him. Yeah. He's going to be the biggest bomber runner ever. I don't even ever. know if the scouts can see Mac yet. He's cloaked as well. Oh, that's cheeky. But I don't know if he has the energy production to sustain that. Look at Fonzie. Fonzie controls so much of the map. Their force is massive. Mm. That gantry's scary. The gantry would nearly be down. CJOP going into this reclaim territory. The gantry's half built. Oh, no. CJOP might want to consider building a gantry too. Mm. Although these bulk tech 2 units might be enough to defeat Fonzie. Yeah. If these move up, Fonzie can do nothing against it. Like if they move up now. CJOP would definitely be familiar with Fonzie. Mm. I reckon it's a deeply ran rivalry. He would know what to expect. It's all red and green now and light blue. Light blue comes out on top. Look at all these engineers. Look at all that. <laughs> Holy crap. He's going for bulk production. Massive unit spam. I'd love to see him assist this gantry just get that smashed out. Just build bulk gantry units. So many pit bulls surrounding this geothermal plant. So many turrets. Even turrets surrounding this one. I guess he really want to defend these advanced geothermal plants. They produce bulk energy. Big Fonzie's turret crawling towards CJ's base. Mm. If we had some Tech 2 turrets built along this line, that would devastate a little That would bit be perfect. Army. I'd love to see some artillery now. Mac is hiding away in the corner. Mac is like, I can still win. <laughs> I'm a player in this. As soon as they find him, he's dead. 
He's gonna get obliterated by bombers. Mm -hmm. He's building some paralysis bots too. Paralysis bots are so cool. Well, they might be scouts, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're scouts. What are these ones? Are they fighters? I think they got my units messed up. CJ's base is stale. They're just building lots of units. Mm. You'd probably want to build some Tech 2 turrets. He's just building bulk Tech 2 units. They have so many Tech 2 units. The aircraft is going to be advantageous against gantry units, though. Mm -hmm. They're scouting. Oh, they've seen the gantry. They know it's there. Oh, oh, oh. They have oh. a cloaked invisible spy bot. Ghost radar invisible spy bot. That's I didn't even crazy. know they could build those. Oh, they're moving in. Oh, Here we it's go. going it's for the end. kill. They have to kill that gantry now. Fonzie does not have enough units to defend this. Fonzie has a lot of turrets, though. Not Fonzie's not. changed his build order. The turrets I think... are not in the right spot. Oh, this is about to be interesting. Here we have uh, CJ OP building a fusion reactor. They're throwing down so many. They could throw down heaps of bombers right now. The damage, the damage oh, is no. coming. This world is just. Welders are everything. so strong, and the hounds are coming through with the sniper bots. These pit bulls are running hell from the hills. Pansies. Look at them all. If he moves these pawns in it, they'll have a good chance of destroying The these. gantry's gonna go down if they don't do something soon. Yeah, he's moving a razor back, but it's just... Oh, the pawns are about to assist the gantry. Oh, no. They impede the gantry. Yeah. They cannot let anything go down. Yeah. I think this is the end for Fonzie. Unless something happens. This is the end for Fonzie. That's kind of sad. Wow. I wanted to see some gantry units get out. With a few more minutes, welded. Fonzie would have... They got welded so so bad. Mac moving into the sea. Mac's like, I will take you by the sea. Those welders are destroying that base. Mm -hmm. That base did not have a chance. Welders are so strong. They remind me of the Tesla turrets from um, Red Alert 3. Mm. That's incredible. Fonzie did not expect that. It is the end for Fonzie. CJOP has clearly won this one. Mm -hmm. CJOP now put a mass bombers. With out of sight actually building some more units. They're still not progressed to take two, just building advanced solar collectors. Out of sight has a big base. Their economy is still not very good though. Mm -hmm. They have some take two turrets in the solar frenzy. It's a shame they have all their Tech 2 turrets here where they don't count and they could have been here. <laughs> I don't think that would have saved them. Just sacrificing his commander now, it is the end. That's when it's the end. The commander moves in is to this kill. Is a fire sale? There I love the go. fire sale. That was a good match. That was a CG OP versus Mac and out of sight. Do you think we should speed up the speed of the game? Just I think we know what the fate will be. I think I'll speed it up. Mac, Mac just surrendered. suicided. Now out of sight, it's like, okay, yeah, it's between me and you. Now we have the units moving into out of sight. I think there will be a bomber run strategically placed on this command. Out of sight's going for a Tech 2 factory. Out of sight's like it's on. Yeah. Bring it. Time. Bring everything you've got. And extra. It'd be funny if he had like a hidden nuke launcher and CJ would be just got <laughs> yeah. devastated. Out of sight has a secret naval army. Yeah. Goes to the shore of CJ's base. Yeah. Shells it. Epoch comes out. Oh my god. If an Epoch came out, I'd be like, ah, oh, sorry, bad network. Alright, the scouts are coming in. The bombers are following, the bombers are coming in. Pour out of sight. The base is gone. This is murder. This is assassination. Mm -hmm. Look at the base. There's I nothing left. <laughs> it is beautiful. I would hate to be in this position. Commander I would bow down. I would bow down to the king. I would have truced. If I was a freshie in this match, I would have truced to won the pros. Yeah. In the end, they're still going to destroy you, though. Yeah, they still have to at some point. Yeah, that's why teams are good. Out Free for all. Just walking in. Here we go. Using that D gun. There's still so many welders, though. Yeah. There we go. It is the end. That's how the cookie crumbles. Right. This was a pretty interesting free for all match, and thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.